we are going to start a people to people diplomacy to say that we can make peace in the world. They are very similar to each other. The similarity can make peace, I think. Iran aggressively pursues these weapons and exports terror. States like these constitute an axis of evil. From the beginning, we were not only laying out the case against a war, we were explaining how diplomacy could succeed. We were one of the first organizations to take up that campaign and that issue, which I think is really important because it took 10 years plus to get to this point we are now. We were talking to the people in power about this very early on and letting them know what the terrible consequences would be if we did decide to intervene in Iran. People on both sides of the aisle, they just didn't trust Iran. The Bush administration wasn't even willing to come to the table unless Iran gave up enriching uranium. That obviously backfired. I think the only secure route to preventing Iran from getting nuclear weapons is to change the regime in Tehran. To cope with this anti-diplomacy mindset, we needed not just a campaign. We needed a series of campaigns. We had citizen diplomat, we had can the sanctions, we sent two key political staff members to Iran. The American and Iranian people understand that the best thing to make us safer is to close. When I traveled to Iran, I brought a video camera and we asked people that we talked to there to share their messages back so that we could show our members and the public a side of Iran that most people don't get to see. And throughout all of that, Every year, we had tens of thousands of members mobilized to press Congress to support diplomacy. Celebrating on the streets after news the only moderate candidate of six has won Iran's presidential election. When Rouhani was elected in Iran in 2013, it came a little bit out of nowhere and suddenly the political landscape changed in a way that meant diplomacy felt a lot more possible. I started working for Peace Action West in uh, December of 2013, December 18th. And I remember that because on December 19th, the Kirk Menendez bill was introduced. And it's why I've come to this floor time after time as a author of some of the toughest sanctions that one country has ever levied against another, the sanctions against Iran. We had several close calls where the opponents of the deal almost passed bills that could have killed the talks outright. We were up against organizations like APAC who had this reputation of being unbeatable. We were following the news, uh, responding quickly, mobilizing through emails and through phone banking to our members. After a while, there were enough Congress people that were willing to stand up and push. We beat them and the talks kept going. It is a very bad deal. The Congress stands ready to impose much more severe sanctions. As it became clear that the diplomats were going to succeed in getting an agreement, our opponents started pouring tens of millions of dollars into slick ads and lobbying. Tell your senators to join Marco Rubio. We knew we had to respond. We joined with others in a campaign called 60 Days to Stop a War. And we mobilized folks to come to town halls. With a show of hands, I'd like to see how many people are here to support the deal with Iran. And when members of Congress wouldn't come to town halls, we rallied in front of their offices. Thank you for coming today, Lisa, to receive these petitions on behalf of Move On, Peace Action, and a, a host of other organizations sponsoring these events nationwide across the country today. And when members of Congress came out the wrong way, like Chuck Schumer, we held protests in front of their offices. In most of the town hall meetings, 70 or 80 percent of the people at the town hall meetings were in favor of peace and in favor of diplomacy. I was passing out uh, signs and um, I ran out of signs before the event was even full. One after another, the tough swing votes came out in favor of the deal. And by the end of August, we knew we had the votes. This victory really would never have been possible without the grassroots power of people in the peace movement. This is a huge victory for peace with Iran but it really has the potential to be something much bigger. You look around the world, you see Afghanistan, Syria, Yemen, all these incredibly complex conflicts. But we also have a model now of how intelligence, international cooperation, and creativity can all address problems. We need to build on that model now. Peace Action West has been working to promote diplomacy with Iran 
for about a decade. Um, and you know, throughout that entire time, we've had dedicated members. Thank you so much for your tireless years of activism and support. We're starting to replace the blunt instrument of war with diplomacy. Together, we really can make the world a more peaceful place.